now this is probably the third or fourth time I've tried to make this video and the reasons for that are the information came in so fast I couldn't make head nor tail of it. Then I wondered whether or not I should do it. Was it actually for me? Did I want to make a video? What was the point? Who was going to watch it? Was it just for my own benefit? Then I found myself looking back over the last few videos that I did. They were unexpected and they were unplanned and were never followed up. Kind of like changes that never really got anywhere. And I found myself thinking, actually, the videos that I did last time were still very relevant up until this moment. The floods and the earthquakes that are occurring, the changes that are occurring within us and outside of us were all mentioned in the previous videos. But this morning something felt different. So much to my annoyance, I thought, okay, I'll do a video. Wondered what it would be about, opened myself up, and all the thoughts of what I should talk about came through. And my passion for the video got out of control, actually. The, the fire that I felt in my belly got a bit whoo, out of control. So going back to the two original videos, I felt the emotion, I felt the waters coming up. Was I good enough to do a video? Was there any point in me doing a video? All old things. Um, and I felt wobbled, just like the second video said I would, and had to ground that down. So, there are no tools around me. Um, it feels very relevant at the moment. And I am on a time limit. The video camera is for half an hour, I think. So there's a high chance the amount that I talk, I will cut out and end up having to edit and add to the video. But that feels really important as well. It feels like there's a lot of background noise, a lot of information coming in, a lot of help, a lot of opinions, um, a lot of feelings, a lot of, not baggage, but people adding their bits to the pie. Um, and it feels really relevant, not just physically, spiritually, to be in alignment with one. Now by one, I don't mean one tool, I don't mean one person, I mean to just be in alignment with who you are. The earth is a reflection of our body. Everything that's going on is a reflection of what's going on within and without. Lots and lots of different ideas, lots and lots of different information coming in kind of adds air to a fire and it spreads the fire. So whereas the other videos were very much about the earth element and the water element, I feel today will probably be about air and fire, which could be something that we see on the outside as well as the inside. The good news is it's kind of a paradox, but it's great news. We've shifted a lot emotionally. We've shifted a lot with our physical body, and I don't know about anybody else, but I feel pretty stripped, pretty raw down to the core of who I am now. Uh, the last few months have been quite intense. I've been working with animals with a wonderful lady called Elaine Tyler and we've been working with horses. Now if you want to know how to be in the moment, how to feel everything and be a reflection of what's going on around you and be centred and basically encompass all the elements, I strongly advise that you get out and be with horses with their permission. Um, they show us just how much too much noise, too many expectations, too much emotion can really affect our movement, our stride, our balance, how we connect to the earth and the wonderful creatures. But if I say it's been an easy journey, I would be lying. It's been difficult, interesting, shall we say. Not difficult, interesting. So here I am, I'm stripped to the core. Um, I don't know about anybody else, but everything that I've believed in feels like it's been wiped clean. I'm kind of walking around with an old script for an old play, but I've been given a new role, but I don't know what that role is yet. So it's kind of like, you're not here to do this anymore. Thank you. What am I here to do? Mm, that's going to come. And that's where it feels like the energy's changed. 
I guess like the hurricanes which much love sent out to um, our relatives everywhere across the world, you're always in my prayers. After destruction, after everything has been broken down, we start to build anew. We start to be not more grateful, but very aware of the things that are left standing, very aware of the people that are still in our life, very aware of the things that people have done for us leading up to that moment. Now, these might be things we're not comfortable with. People may show us things that we may not be that keen on about ourselves, old judgments, old beliefs. Mine in particular is it over-analyzing. Um, but it's, again, like the other videos, streamlining that information. Not taking it on board as personal, but as another tool from the universe. Okay, so you're straying a little bit, maybe you should try this. And streamlining it. Obviously, after everything breaks down, it's raw and it's new. But there is then a chance to rebuild. It feels like halfway through September kind of already starting today, it's no coincidence that we're the 10th of September, which is a 1, that we're in the 10th month, if you add it up, which is a 1, and the 10th year, which if you add it up, is a 1. This year I became an 11 number, which is 1s with my birth date. The whole theme of the year has been to stand in our own. The whole theme of the year has been to stand in our own connection, to whatever that is you need to connect to, to be in alignment. There's a lot out there at the moment, people picking and judgments and opinions, and I won't go into it because in all honesty, I have no real judgment or opinion, it just is, um, of different ways to connect. How you connect is up to you. You connect with whatever works for you in that moment, the key being that moment. So if someone says something and it works for you in that moment, fine. It may not work after, and it's, Release that when you're done with it with thanks and then move on. This month, I need to get on because it is to be streamlined. This month very much feels like standing in who you are. Very much feels like standing in your own connection. Not overthinking it. By all means, go back and look where you've been. There is great lessons in that, but to then release it. It's time to now let it go. There's a lot on release. Um, many many ways that you can do it but this month also feels about remembering the tool that your body is it releases every second it breathes it goes to the toilet it it eats it cries it menstruates there are many ways that your body can release but if we do not listen to that if we do not enable our body to have what it needs or we find it inconvenient we are not going to release what we need to release, and we are going to reenact that. For argument's sake, this month, I have had to rest all month. It has been extremely inconvenient. Um, I have gone through many thoughts about, I should be doing this, I should be doing that. The world won't carry on without me. Um, you name it, I've gone through it. But by listening to my body, I've had to rest. The month before, I could go down the gym. This month, it was completely the opposite. And there does feel like that push and pull energy, and that's okay. We're coming up for the equinox, which is the balance of the masculine and the feminine. We've had so much going on with the eclipses and the full moons, and the earth is portraying it, we're portraying it. We've had a real shake-up of all of our elements. I do feel as though there's more to come and we are being almost taught to stand in our elements just like the earth is and to balance them out, to be aware of our thoughts, to be aware of our emotions, what we feel inside of our body and our connection and how we're portraying that by how it's being reflected. None of it is right or wrong. It is what it is in that moment. And it will always serve to teach you something. But like anything, it teaches and then it's released. The equinox. Real balance of masculine and feminine coming together. So a lot of insights. It feels like a lot of downloads anyway, but a lot of information coming in and a lot of potential after 
after every destruction there is beginnings, there is potential. And it feels like we can get caught up a bit in that. Um, provided we stand in our own. Provided we connect to the moment, to our body, to our higher selves. It will be clear. It will be so clear there will be no doubt. It will be a real aha moment of how to move forward. But listen to your body. Listen to your own internal guidance. There is so much help out there that we've asked for, be it friends, be it guides, be it tools, that actually it can muddy the water a little bit. Um, connect to what works for you. The time to come will move forward. A dear friend of mine, Amanda Ellis, was um, receiving a message very much on the three number this month. And we are in September, which is three threes, which is obviously the Trinity, it's obviously the triangle, it's obviously the mind, the body, the spirit. Whilst working with the horses this month, we were working very much on the left and the right hemisphere, but also intuition and the importance of intuition and the importance of bringing all that information together, the logical information, the creative information, the spiritual information, the physical information, and bringing it together as the bridge down the hemisphere of the brain to form the intuition. For me, intuition has always been a sixth sense. It's always been all of it. Everything you smell, everything you hear, everything you sense, everything you feel, but then some. So expanded. And to do that, you have to feel. To do that, you have to be aware. To do that, you have to stand in everything that you are, with no judgment. It feels like there's still a risk of quite a bit of judgment coming up. And if that happens, my advice would be go back to the original videos. What is this bringing up emotionally? How is this wobbling me physically? How is this relevant to me? We are moving forward and we all like to believe that our stuff is done. <laughs> we all like to believe that I've cleared that and I've done that. The fact of the matter is if you have it won't keep coming back. Now it could come back to you through other people that may need help. Wonderful. It could come back to you as in that opinion really stung me. And it's it's okay, it's all on different levels. So my baggage is your baggage, your baggage is my baggage, we are one. It would be more comfortable to separate from that. However, in order to move forward, we move forward together. Don't think there's anything else to say other than use your body, feel the elements within, be responsible for your body and the elements within. If you need to rest, rest. If you need to go for a run to burn off whatever energy you picked up, whether it's negative, whether it's positive, whether it's someone's opinion, whatever it may be, we are here to pick it up, we are here to release it. So release it however you see fit. Colouring, drawing, um, dancing, fires, however you need to release it. If you need to release it, release it. And enjoy it. There, Amanda said about the threes, Yes, we are in no, uh, September. She said November as well. Yes, we are in September. It is the three threes, but I do feel as if it would go on for November. Um, Number-wise, November, you will have three ones. I do feel it would go on for December, again, for the number reason, and January. So whatever we set into place now, you're looking from now until January for it to start to come into fruition. So just enjoy it. Take each step as it comes. And be in the moment. Be in the moment with no judgment, if you can. Never an easy task, but even if you have judgment, have no judgment on that. That almost has to stop now. We're moving into the last chunk of the year one, the last chunk of this beginning of the nine year cycle. We won't really move forward doing the same things that we were doing, so stand in your own. Be who you are, be proud of who you are. Know that everything that is shown to you is to make you believe in your self-worth, to make you believe in your own connection, to make you believe in who you are. Like the number one, straight down the middle, you are a channel of whatever energy you want to call it. You are a channel from above, below. Believe in that and believe that your individuality makes you what you are. It adds 
rise to the collective consciousness of the whole. You are needed just as much as the next person. You are relevant just as much as the next person. It's time to be part of the whole, but also individual. Um, when we did the horse study this month, we were shown the picture of the two vases, the two faces, and how you look at it from the left or right hemisphere of the brain depends on what you see. However, if you step back, stand in your own and look at it from both, you see it all. So, see it from a logical perspective, see it from a spiritual perspective, and then bring that together in the shape of the one, in the form of the one, in everything that you are. And have fun. That, that feels really important. Lift some of the load of this. Have fun with it now. There's nothing to prove. You are enough. In this moment, you are enough. Stand in who you are with pride. That feels like the real message. Yes, there will be ideas coming in of things that you can do, of how you can move forward. And there will be people that will add to those ideas if you're not careful. The relevant point for this month feels like standing in your own is the most important because otherwise everything you do won't be good enough. Realise that you are good enough and then 